What's going on Yu-Gi-Oh! community, YG Pal, I'm back here with another video and today we're going to be looking at the new Fallen of a Boss support coming out in the All Boss Strike structure deck coming out in the OCG on December 4th. As of recording this video, we have no such announcement for this deck coming to the TCG and considering Konami's track record when it comes to releasing structure decks as actual structure decks and not splitting them up into other products, yeah, I seriously doubt we'll actually get this as a whole structure deck, but I'm very hopeful though, I'm still hopeful. But like I said, we're going to be looking at the new Fall of the Boss cards, and we do have four new cards to talk about uh, so far that has been revealed. So we're going to be starting off with the very first card. That card being Tri-Brigade Mercurier. It is a dark level 4, 800 attack, 0 defense, wing beast effect monster. You can only use this card's first and second effect of this card's name once per turn. When your opponent activates a monster effect and you control a fusion monster that lists Fall of the Boss as a fusion material, quick effect, you could send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard, negate that effect. If this card becomes banished, you can add one Fallen of a boss or one card that lists that monster in its text from your deck to your hand except itself. This card is honestly pretty good. It kind of gives any all boss fusion monster a monster negate by sending this card from your hand to the graveyard. And it could be any monster effect. It doesn't just have to be a monster on the field. It could be a hand trap, a grave effect, or a banish effect. And I think that's pretty awesome. And it isn't just restricted to monsters your opponent controls. That's just really nice. The second effect is pretty decent to search out either all boss or any card with all boss in its text from your deck to your hand, but at the cost of becoming banished. Now, I do wish this card had the grave effect of a banishing itself in order to search out any of those cards, but I'll take this for what it is, and maybe the support that hasn't been revealed yet in the structured deck will make it easier to banish this card, hopefully, an all boss fusion spell that uses all boss from the hand or field, maybe even banish a monster from your graveyard as a material for the fusion summoning of that monster. It would definitely make this card second effect pretty good if Konami made such a card. But I'm getting a little bit off track there, guys. So let me go ahead and move on to the next card we have, which is Spriggan's Kit. It is a dark level 4, 1700 attack, 1000 defense, beast effect monster. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If you have a fusion monster that lists Fallen of a Boss as a material on your field or in your graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is normal or special summon, you can add one of your branded spell or traps that is banished or in your deck or in graveyard to your hand, then place one card from your hand on the bottom of the deck. Firstly, I love the artwork of this card because it's kit, but as a spring gun instead of a tri brigade. And I just really like how they are doing like an Avengers kind of thing where each art type was kind of like a solo film. And this deck is kind of like the combination of all of it together, like the Avengers film where they all team up together. And I just really think that's pretty awesome. But anyways, this card is really good card for the R-Type. If you want to call it that, I, I really don't know. I'm just going to call it the R-Type. I really love the fact that this card can be special summoned while you either control an all-boss fusion monster or have one in the graveyard. So you could just dump the fusion monster from the extra deck to the graveyard and you'll be able to just special summon this card much easier. The second effect is also really good as it can search any branded spell or trap from basically anywhere whenever you summon it. And Konami did make it a little bit too fair just because you have to place a card from your hand now to the bottom of your deck after you search, which is okay, I guess. But really, we should have been able to at least search the card without any kind of cost or catch to it, you know, because there's already a lot of archetypes that could just search anything for free without having to put a, another card from your hand back into the deck. But that's just my opinions. And yeah, I'm just going to leave it there. The next card we are going to be talking about is the Unlikely Sword Soul Allies. It is a light level 4, 1800 attack, 1500 defense, spellcaster, tuner, effect monster. You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. When a monster declares an attack, you can special summon this card from your hand, and if you do negate that attack, then if you control a fusion monster that lists Fallen of a Boss as a material, you can destroy the attacking target. If a monster becomes banished face up, you can banish this card from your field or graveyard. Special summon one light spellcaster monster whose attack equals its own defense from your hand or graveyard. Now, honestly, when I first read this card, I wasn't that big of a fan of it. But after rereading this card and really looking at it, it's not horrible, honestly. You basically get a body on board, negate the monster's attack that whoever did declare an attack. And if you happen to have an all boss fusion monster, you get to destroy that monster. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I like that you could also negate your own attack if you wanted to to get this 1800 attack point monster on your field during the battle phase so you can attack with a weaker monster activate this effect special summon this card negate that attack and now you have an 1800 attack monster you can use to do a follow-up attack the second effect i think is okay but not really that impressive because to me mainly it's just special summons from the hand or graveyard 
And I kind of do wish it could have special summoned from the deck a little bit. I know that's asking a lot, and I understand why they did not do that. And the only candidates that I could think about that are fitting with the archetype are the Ecclesia monsters, the Dogmatica Ecclesia, the Victorious, and the new Ecclesia that's coming out in Burst of Destiny, the Virtuous in White. And uh, that's it. Th those are the only two I can think of. There's probably other targets out there. I'm just not looking at it. But those are the only two cards that are actually fit into the Abaz archetype. Overall, I think this card is okay. And I think I would run a copy or two in the main deck. But that's just my thoughts and opinions. Let me know what you guys think about this card in the comment section down below. And the last card we're going to be looking at is Paradise Branded. It's a continuous spell card. You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. The activation of your cards and effects that include an effect that fusion summons a fusion monster cannot be negated. Also, your opponent's cards and effects cannot activate when a monster is fusion summoned this way. With you fusion summon a fusion monster, you can add one fallen of a boss or one monster that list that card in its text from your deck to your hand. Basically, Abaz got a magical meltdown and a way to search Abaz or any of the monsters mentioned in this video from your deck to your hand after you fusion summon any fusion monster, which is pretty cool. But let's face it, we're more than likely going to be fusion summoning an Abaz fusion monster just so we actually have the activation requirements for the following monsters that we did talk about in this video. By, and you can search it out with this card, so that's really cool. I do like this card a whole lot. But I kind of do wish it was a field spell in some way because I think Abaz having one would be pretty cool. But who knows? We'll maybe get one in the structure deck. We just have not seen it yet. But this card is really good and probably would be a three of if I'm not mistaken. But if I am, let me know in the comment section down below. I could just be out of whack here. But I think this could be a three of in the deck. That is all the new cards that were revealed in the All Boss Strike structure deck. So far, I am hoping to see more spells for the archetype, like a fusion spell or even a field spell. Traps, I do not mind either, but they have to be really good or like pretty decent to even like run them. If Konami were to actually make an All Boss fusion, like I said earlier in the video, but as a trap card, I would not mind that at all. Probably similar to like Necro Fusion, I would definitely run that card if they do that. And looking at the box art, we are in for some awesome looking fusion monsters, especially that ice dragon. That thing looks insane. And I really hope that the effect of it matches the artwork. Please, Konami, do not let me down on that one. But one thing I would love for them to do is to make generic fusion monsters for our boss like they did with Shadal's. Have them be based on attributes of the other fusion material opposite of Abaz. That would be really cool to see. It would actually give Abaz's Super Poly a huge advantage. But I don't see that actually happening. But I can hope for it. You know, that's something I would like to see happen. But let's see if Konami would actually do that. Tell me what you guys think about this support. What was your favorite card revealed? Uh, what was your... Uh, favorite art of this because mine is just that dragon even though we don't even have the card of it i just like the dragon of the box set the box art it's just really cool i like it and uh does this uh support pique your interest in building a fallen of a boss deck i could definitely say that i am very intrigued by this support and i really hope that if we do get more cards announced for the structure deck those cards are just as good as these if not a little bit better to make all boss a really good deck Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you did, consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell to be notified for future content. And with that, guys, I'll see you all in the next video.